to the channel. My name is Chris with a beard and I'm actually doing an unboxing today of Sockeye Beard Co. Um, I believe is two sample um, beard oils that he had sent me. The owner's name is Chris, uh, formerly um, residing in Alaska, um, resided in Alaska, excuse me, um, now lives in Georgia and um, he's just trying to make a footnote in the Small Badge Beard community and as a uh, Small Badge Beard company. So um, he's trying to give a little bit of an Alaskan flavor to the bearded community. So I think that's awesome. I love uh, speaking with him um, quite frequently lately. So, um, Try not to ruin the packaging because I want to keep this part because I love his logo. Uh, very good packaging, by the way, Chris. Absolutely stellar. Uh, looks like we got a sticker. Thank you for that. I really appreciate that. Now, he had reached out to me saying that he wanted me to review a couple scents. Um, and I said, man, that would mean a lot to me to be able to do that for you. So he had told me the two scents he wanted me to review. But like I said, today we are just kind of doing an unboxing and getting a first... Um, impression of the product itself. All right, so we'll go with this one first. Um, it's called Denali. So simple artwork, nothing too flashy, and that's okay. Not everything has to have a super sophisticated uh, labeling. Um, what I like to see is the ingredients. I'm going to read those because I'm not sure if you can see that. And also the scent description. And I also like how he put handcrafted in the USA. So that's really cool. So ingredients, jojoba oil, metafoam seed oil, argan oil, rosehip oil, fragrance and essential oils. So right up my alley. Um, the only one that I don't think I've used very much of um, is rosehip oil. So that one speaks volumes to me. But the, uh, <clears throat> the uh, scent profile on this is sandalwood, vanilla, and bergamot. Hmm. See, I've usually sandalwood and vanilla. I see a lot of those. Um, by itself so the fact that he added bergamot in there is a really nice touch of uh, citrus for me so I uh, definitely appreciate that one uh, let's see this one's called captain's brew again simple artwork nothing too flashy and that's perfectly fine this uh, scent profile is hints of coffee Oh, geez, he pronounced this uh, Copaiba, Copaiba, or Copaba. I don't really know how to pronounce that. It's C-O-P-A-I-B-A, -A, so I'm just going with Copaba. Black Pepper and Rustic Alaskan Man. Okay. This one, uh, <laughs> cold weather, it's kind of a little thick. Mmm. Okay. I'm a huge fan of coffee scents. It's a little bit frozen, the soil, so it's going to take some time to thaw. Um. Yeah. Interesting. This one's going to be interesting when I rub in beard, because right now all I get as much, you know, is that coffee off the bat. And it may be due to the fact that it's kind of solidified because of the cold weather. So, um, like 
like I said, we have Denali that I'll be reviewing and Captain's Brew. So that's my first impressions of the label, the scent description, and smelling those out of bottle, um, artwork, um, just overall presentation, you know, and adding the sticker. You know, I absolutely appreciate that. Uh, where did I put the packaging here? So I'll be keeping that um, just because I really, really like that and I enjoy that logo. So uh, if you all enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up. Uh, I'll have the uh, website for Sockeye Beard Co. in the description. Also have the link to all my links, or yeah, in the description of my links as well. And um, yeah, so stay tuned for the review. Subscribe to the channel, and only together we can discover the beard difference.